Good morning. This is John. It's Monday morning. I think uh, around the 18th, uh, the 20th, actually. Uh, long weekend. Good. Haven't shaved. Drinking my coffee because it's morning. So just a little update. I've been doing some more interesting searching on YouTube, and I found some pretty fascinating things. And I've seen some that are nonsense, BS. Uh, that are just, that, no, they just can't be. But, <clears throat> you know, some of the things that I've seen, like uh, there's this one guy out there, Bruce Sees All, Bruce Schwartz. I tell you what, that's what really was the catalyst that got me uh, interested in astronomy because some of the images that he took with his 14-inch telescope uh, of the moon, and it would appear that there is activity there uh, with regard to uh, UFOs, uh, which is really just unidentified flying object. It appears that they're unidentified. Of course they are. And it would appear that they are flying. You know, and he's got some things in and out of craters. So if you have a chance to check out Bruce Schwartz, you know, Bruce sees all, I think you're going to see some really fascinating video. Um, it's inspired me, uh, to really spend some time and spend some money and buy a, a telescope. And I don't know how good this particular telescope is going to be with that, but I got a bunch of different lenses. You know, I, I can really zoom in there. I'm just having, I don't have it really completely set up yet. Uh, I had to send my hand controller off to uh, Explore Scientific. They had to update it because I couldn't get my go to, or not my, uh, my well, my go to uh, with my auto guider to function uh, symbiotically or. Maybe that's not the right word. Uh, you know, can't have one without the other. So I guess it is a form of symbiosis. Uh, but, you know, that being said, I have uh, high hopes that I will be able to get this thing squared away. Um, and I'm looking for a piece of property, you know, inexpensive, you know, more in the dark area north of where I live, probably 80, 90 miles out in the woods. Something, I'm not going to develop it, so I mean, I just want it for a dark site, you know, but for the weekend and set up my stuff, my telescope. Um, other than that, there's any number of uh, interesting things to look at uh, on YouTube. I mean, it's there's a plethora of things related to uh, moon activity and, you know, it's like anything else. You know, you have to take it with a grain of salt. You know, I want to see it for myself, and that's why I endeavor to invest in astronomy and astrophotography. Uh, I think it's be, it would be fascinating. I mean, if, it, if I can see it for myself, you know, then it's a done deal. Uh, then there's nothing you can say or do to dissuade me. I mean, I'm not saying who it is or even if it is, but it would appear by his videos that it's very it indicates that there's something going on there. Um, although there's, and I can't say it's not a CGI thing or anything like that. I just can't say that. I just saw something about the Black Knight satellite, and it was bogus. And that's the one thing I said was kind of BS. <clears throat> and uh, it just didn't, the laws of physics just didn't pan out, you know, as far as that goes. So and and it was it was much more uh, modern looking, uh, more had more definition, you know. And I've seen some pictures of the Black Knight satellite, and I have no idea if it's even real. I mean, you know, things take off, people do crazy things to you know for clickbait and things like that to enhance their presence because they want to make some money off of YouTube. And I mean, I wouldn't mind, but I, I mean, I don't want it to live off of, I would really like to buy, you know, I looked at a, uh, an astrograph telescope. It's six grand and that's not counting the base, but I mean, it's, it would be pretty slick, I think, and give me a, a greater visual capability. You know, along with the cameras that I bought, things like that. And I ordered another camera. I ordered a uh, uh, Celestron, I believe it was, 10 megapixel color. It wasn't terribly expensive. It was from Adora Camera, whatever it was. It was like 
$215. So I'm looking forward to see how that's going to work on my Explore Scientific 152. And then I got the, the star shoot. Uh, I believe it's a monochrome for auto guiding. So as soon as I get all my stuff back this week, I should be good. I've been trying to get my other computer that I'm using for the telescope to communicate with that 4K HD TV. Now I can get it to work with Google Chrome, but I'm I can't. I'm probably going to have to hardwire it in from the computer uh, so that what the camera will see, uh, then it will be able to be visualized on on the HD UHD 4K TV. I think it'd be pretty slick. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's, like I said, I'm, I'm real new to this and uh, I'm making probably a lot of mistakes. I ordered some cables that I thought I might need and it turns out I don't really think I need them because I ordered one. Explore Scientific sent me one to work with that hand controller and the computer. Allegedly, it wasn't cheap. They gave it to me for half price uh, and it was $29. So it cost them four. But I mean, everybody's got to make a profit. So I mean, if I need it, I need it, you know. So, oh, here's one of my favorite shirts, by the way. Uh, let's see if I can get this right. I always get this bass backwards. Uh, anyway, uh, Florida City, Florida, Last Chance Saloon. One of our motorcycle jaunts. I don't know if you can see it, but it's cool. <coughs> so, other than that, I really don't know much of anything. I just know this has been an interesting endeavor, you know, and I have to say a lot of good things about YouTube, and then I have to say some things, or I'm not going to say anything that's derogatory. I just, I, I think when you start policing content, I mean, unless it's really something um, perverted or something like that, I mean, then, then I would say absolutely, you know, but uh, as far as... Uh, some of the things that they kind of uh, put the kibosh on. So, I mean, there's another guy out there I watch. I like his family. He's got a pretty wife. He's got some really spectacular kids, and he's a veterinarian. And you could you could see uh, Off the Ranch. His name is Matt Carricker. And uh, you might want to look at his, some of his stuff. I mean, it's just nice. It's good, wholesome family stuff, you know, and he's enjoying his life. And he also owns a veterinary clinic that he bought from his father, which was pretty cool. I, I'm i not really a, a dog or a cat person. I mean, I like them. I just, you know, I travel a lot. So for me to have an animal, you know, maybe a plastic foot fish or something, one of those magnet things that they, they move around in the tank and they look like they're, you know, animated to some degree. But, uh, you know, other than that, you know, you throw a little bleach in there. Once the water starts to get a little cloudy, you just throw a little bleach in there. And then, of course, the fish all end up white like they were living in some underground cavern, but it'd be cool. All right. Well, thanks a lot. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe, uh, like the video if you like, you know, geriatricastronomer.com. I'm slowly putting some images up there, but I haven't had the opportunity to do anything in a couple of weeks because, you know, the weather has been terrible. And, you know, some of the, I want to focus primarily right now on the moon, but I mean, I'm trying to enhance my equipment to do some deep space astrophotography and things like that. And that's why I'd like to buy a piece of property that's a little darker, you know, so they get better, I guess, better resolution, less light pollution. So I think it'd be pretty cool. I mean, this is late in life for me, but, uh, and I see some of these young guys, they got their acts together, you know, Astro Backyard, uh, Trevor Jones. Uh, you know, I've gotten some stuff from him and this other guy, um, Van... Is it Van? Something I've, I've subscribed to it. It's Van Man. I, I can't think of what it is right now. But actually, I bought the same telescope that he has. Uh, simply because I was impressed by, you know, what he had said about it and what he how he did it. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to mimic his setup, per se. I mean, he's, he uses a Canon 6D, I think. And I got the new Canon M50 with the articulating uh, screen which is pretty cool. good. I wish I knew more about it. I'm trying to learn. I mean, there's so much technology in these devices that it's, 
you know, with just so many things, it's just it's a it's a slow process. And I don't know anybody that really. I know this one girl. I don't know if she knows. I mean, she knows about can you know cameras to some degree. I mean, she's a pretty good photographer. She makes she makes some really nice stuff. I mean, but she doesn't do commercial work or anything like that. It's just for her own hobby. Uh, I need to talk to her again because she didn't know anything about the Sony. I bought that A7. And I think that was before I bought the Canon, so I don't know what she uses. Uh, I'll give have to give her a shout and and find out. So I hope you subscribe, and uh, that would be great. And if not, okay, hey, whatever. Thanks. Bye.